What's his name? What is he saying? He's obviously in danger, but why? I am going to answer all of your queries. Hi and welcome to True Crime, a channel dedicated to the dark underworld of criminal activity carried out by gangsters, mobsters, cartel leaders and others. Let's get started. Death is the end of everything, and nothing in the world, not even money or other material possessions, will prevent us from beating it. It's safe to say that when death finally came for the man, it was an act of mercy because the fate that El Colo suffered at the hands of El Mencho and the CJNG was worse than death. The final days of his life were filled with unimaginable agony. The manner of his demise was sickening, and the details of how he died will make your stomach turn. Who was El Colo and what did he do to deserve the cruel, cold CJNG cartel's torture? The CJNG, looking at the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, also known as CJNG, was established in late 2009 by Nemesio Azegro Cervantes, Elias El Mencho, and Ignacio Coronel Villarreal, also known as the King of Crystal, among other monikers. Since their formation in 2010, after the dissolution of the old Millennium Cartel, CJNG have grown quickly and have seized control of significant portions of the Mexican drug trade, leaving a trail of bloodshed and body parts in their wake. Whether using axe, Rs, RPGs, or just a good old-fashioned machete, their strategy is purely hyper-violence. The Millennial Organization was the catalyst for the creation of the cartel. Since the CJNG head, El Mencho, leads the organization with an iron grip and frequently broadcasts their terrible crimes as a warning to others, it stands to reason that numerous examples of this behavior may be found online. Carlos Enrique Sanchez, also known as El Colo, a cartel boss, faced off against his rivals and lost. Despite being a founding member of the CJNG organization and serving as a high-level lieutenant within the cartel, El Colo, with the dreams of money, power, and influence, left the organization in late 2017 or early 2018. He left the criminal organization with Eric Valencia Salazar, also known as L85, who had close ties to Nemesio Oscura Cervantes and had previously collaborated with El Mencho during the time of the Millennial Cartel. Eric Valencia Salazar was detained by Mexican authorities in March 2012, and after serving five years in prison, due to violations of his due process rights and a lack of evidence, a federal judge cleared him of all charges. Upon his release from prison, many narco industry experts anticipated that he would rejoin CJNG, but this wasn't the case after that. L85 got in touch with El Colo, a high-ranking member of the CJNG, to launch a campaign against El Mencho and Rebel. By 2019, El Colo and L85 had completely turned against the CJNG. In fact, they were even helping the Sinaloa cartel fight against CJNG. The new organization was proving to be a fawn in the state of Jalisco's elementary side. They formed a cartel known as the Nuva Plaza Cartel, based in Jalisco, with El Colo serving as the reported leader. El Colo frequently stirred up trouble. In fact, he assassinated a CJNG financier, prompting El Mencho to send a hit squad to kill him. However, the hit was unsuccessful, and the Nuva Cartel was able to get even by assassinating the CJNG hit squad leader's head. Apart from a growing alliance with the Sinaloa cartel, the war between the two factions has seen an increase in violence in the city of Guadalajara over the past few years as the two groups and others compete for control of the methamphetamine industry in the city. It is believed that El Colo was able to successfully hire top police officers for protection despite his organization being greatly outmatched by the CJNG in terms of resources, manpower, and other factors. Despite the fact that he was playing a risky game and was about to lose it, on March 18, 2021, a video went viral in which El Colo was kidnapped and encircled by fully armed CJNG Sicarios. El Colo basically makes a quick confession in the video when he claims that high-ranking police chief Omar Garcia Harfuch is behind him. This is the last known video of El Colo before his gruesome death. The translation goes like my name is Carlos Enrique Sanchez Martinez, better known as El Colo. I'm from Guadalajara, Jalisco, and I'm here because I'm the enemy of the CJNG. I met with Omar Garcia Hafuch in the federal district so that he could support me because we are both after the CJNG. And while he did offer me his full support, he also made it clear that he expected something in return from me in order for me to work with him and his followers in this city. 
As a result, I kicked everything off, took responsibility for all local crimes, and contacted the police to turn everything into a serious police matter. The people who sponsor support in this city are Mario Alberto, nicknamed L3, and Sombrano, aka L2, and it was done to cause fear in the community. He is a criminal, therefore for the sake of the few or many of you who are still standing by me, it would be best if you just started worrying for your family so you don't end up like me. Alcolo's fate. Alcolo would be brutally murdered by CJ and G Sicario shortly after this video went viral, but he wasn't given a quick death. Shortly after the release of the interrogation video, a body was discovered in Guadalajara. His body was wrapped tightly in black plastic with notes stabbed into it. One of the notes simply read, El Colo the traitor. Although this was done as retaliation for El Colo, it was also a warning not to mess with CJ and G. The body was dumped out in broad daylight. The body was shortly discovered and was taken for an autopsy, which is when the evidence of torture was discovered. In order to immobilize him, both of his legs were pretty much destroyed, breaking his tibia, patella, and femur in both of them. He also suffered from numerous knife wounds. Most disturbingly, all of this was done while he was still alive. His eyes were gouged out and his tongue was pulled out, and when I say pulled out, I mean pulled out. The results of the autopsy showed that his tongue had not been cut out but rather pulled out with great force. In other words, they had clamped his tongue with some kind of tool and then just pulled it out. Seven of his toes were broken, and one toe was cut off. He also sustained numerous broken ribs. I find it impossible to accept that he was also subjected to high-voltage electrocutions. It is thought that he was ultimately executed by three bullets to the head. You can really view photos of El Colo's autopsy online. Although I am surprised that CJNG didn't record this, given who El Colo was and what he did, they filmed the interrogation. They left his body in a public place, but for whatever reason, they didn't record the torture and execution. It does seem strange, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. There are some unconfirmed rumors that the torture and murder of El Colo was captured on camera, but no such footage exists online, and quite frankly, I don't believe it. But in the end, these cartels exist in a world of their own. Despite the death of El Colo, the new La Plaza cartel has continued to operate in Jalisco, even though its leader, Eric Valencia Salazar, is now keeping a lower profile. In fact, as of right now, it is unknown where he is. It appears that he is caught between a rock and a hard place because El Mencho wants his head more than anything else. So guys, this is it for today. Thank you for watching another amazing video from our true crime team. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to watch our next real-life true crime video. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you in the next one. We'll see...